Hey beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Wake Up Bright, where I share all the things that help me live each day a little brighter. I'm April Warren and I'm on a journey to lose 200 pounds. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some of the things that help me have a great workout even when I don't feel like working out. <laughs> and why? Because I don't feel like working out and I haven't felt like doing anything productive today. It's just one of those days. So it's like, Am I just not gonna film a video today? Like, what's gonna happen? Like, are you just not gonna work out today? Like, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do with your life? Like, the day's almost over. And I'm like, you know what? There's things that I know you can do that will get you in the mood. Things that I know you have that once you're doing your workout, help your workout get better. Like, let's look at those things and we'll just make it into a video. And so that's what we're doing. So, things that help me have awesome workouts on my weight loss journey to lose 200 pounds. Let's do it. <laughs> So I thought I would just start with the basics and that is typically, and these are clean. I do not understand. I like set these down for like five seconds and the puppies like ran by them once and now they're covered in dog hair. But these specific leggings, and I'm wearing a pair of them cause I actually have three pairs. Three? Yeah, I have three pairs. They're all the same. Um, it's the Motion 365. I feel like they've called them different things on the website. Like I've ordered them thinking they're different leggings, um, but they're the same. Um, these, they have no seam in the front. Excuse the hair that just goes flying. And they just, they fit really good. I always feel very confident when I wear them. They're very, very, very comfortable and they're just my favorite. So if I'm not feeling it, whatever it is, if I put these leggings on, I generally feel a little bit better and I feel a little bit more like doing whatever it is that I want to do. So I'm not suggesting that you have to have these leggings, but if you find that there is a piece of clothing that you have that gets you in the mood, separate it out. And then when you don't feel like working out, just go grab, go grab it. The second thing that I wear are my shoes so again i already got on my shoes because i'm like if i if i have to show you guys what i like to wear and then i have to put it on after there's a chance i'm not gonna put it on so i got dressed for my workout and then decided to come and film the video um so i am wearing the pink ones of these but i love the pink ones so much that i got some white ones and so these are just my most favorite tennis shoes. They actually have some other colors. I'm thinking about potentially getting one more pair. Um, just because it is very hard for me to find shoes that don't agitate my feet. Um, and these are the most comfortable shoes. So I shared with you guys before, and I think later this week or next week, I think it's next week, I will be sharing a video on like my accident with my leg. And But anyway, because of those things, I have a lot of difficulty with fit and stride and things, and nothing has worked for me as well as these shoes. So I love these Nike Pegas Pegasus. They are women's Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 37s and they are the best but even though i just showed you guys the white ones i'll like maybe do an overlay or something of the pink these pink ones motivate me like nothing else like i love them they're so comfortable i love the way that they look then they're bright and pink and happy like i just look at them and i'm like ah, i feel happy so i've had the white ones and i'm like why haven't i actually worn the white ones yet and I think the short of it is, is that although I love them and I wanted some like basic white tennis shoes, um, looking at them does not make me as happy as the pink ones do. So I just keep wearing my pink ones and I love them. I love them so much. Okay, last thing that I wear, um, and it's kind of like a, a two, cause I haven't been wearing both of them, but my Apple watch, for me to have a good workout, I have to record it. If I forget to record my workout, halfway through I notice like it ruins like it like takes the like high out when I'm like snap you didn't press the start button or you didn't go in and record this so um, I have just gotten where I really like it and then I also have a myzo belt which is a heart rate monitor that goes around and it'll link up to this as well 
and for a while I would get upset if I didn't do both but I've kind of let my zone go I haven't really been wearing my zone since probably October November so I really need to start wearing it again but it's simplicity is key and the watch has been working even though it's not quite as accurate heart rate monitor as it is having the strap but anyway so this is the third thing that I just have to wear you know just have to wear and then also having some like fun lip colors on usually helps me so I usually do the rhubarb burt bees um and it like just bright it just makes me feel better and that helps me get in the mood to have a good workout so next up things that I do to have a good workout one I drink lots of water that's what this is and two when I'm not feeling it I grab my pre-workout and like even when I am feeling it you know what I do I grab some pre-workout I just <laughs> what I do but most of the time I don't always use pre-workout and if I'm really not feeling it then even like it's late at night right now it's like 9 30 p.m. Um, you guys will see this video in like 12 hours but when I'm not feeling a workout pre-workout always gets me there and so I am going to do the green apple BPN I've talked to you guys about BPN's protein and um and their pre-workout basically all the supplements that we use come from BPN and BPN's founder creator is Nick Bear he's a youtuber but more importantly he was active duty army and he created this supplement company and the, I think partly because of his service he, they are very particular in what they put in it um, and my husband is active duty army and the reason it's important is they are regularly drug tested and some things that slide into supplements will get flagged on a drug test and maybe not all drug tests but the ones for the army and so they screen their stuff and make sure that it's not gonna get service men and women in trouble. I don't know if I'm wording this correctly or not, but it's a thing and it happens and I like it. And so I always use BPN and their products just really quality, like it's a really high quality product. So I enjoy it. Um, Green Apple is my favorite. We also do, I think it's like pink lemonade and then the um, sour watermelon are my other two pre-workout favorites from them. So. And then just water, and I've sh shared these um these shaker bottles with you guys before. They're so inexpensive, and I got them off Amazon. I doubt that they're still available. If they are, I'll link them down below. <laughs> I can't handle my hair. <laughs> I should have just left it down. Um, the next thing up that helps me have a good workout is having a dry erase board. I have the one board that's been behind me the past few. Somebody recently asked me if it said booby on it. It doesn't. It said booty. B-O-O-T-Y for like booty workouts, like booty games. Um, so I like having a dry erase board so that I can keep up with like if we're doing timed things, if we're like checking off like how many reps we did, whatever it is, I like having dry erase boards, plan out our workouts for the weeks and so on. Um, it helps me stay motivated. I think part of the reason I'm not motivated today is because it's a four day weekend, Yena and I haven't worked out together since the last, and we had like the injury situation and stuff last week. So it's been a minute since we've had like a normal workout. And um, even though we had just started getting back to regular workouts, it like throws me for a curve. But my whole point is, is if I get things scheduled out and it's written down, then I'm more apt to like go through it. And yeah, so there's that. Now, things that help me have an awesome workout when I'm actually working out. I love these resistance bands. I've actually thought about trying to find a provider and order some and then like sell them just because they're hard to find. I don't know if they still have these on Amazon, but there's just not a lot of resistance bands that fit around my thighs. Um, and with it's the same for Yenna. Yenna doesn't have thighs the size of mine, but she's so tall. Like having one that like stretch, like gets on and then stretches out to where she needs it is hard. So I flirted with the, that idea. Um, not that that would happen anytime soon, but I may sell bands in the future. I don't know. 
we, we shall see how that goes. But I, I can, if these are still available online, I will link these below. But having a good band is really nice because you can use them for so many different exercises and they just enhance and level up some things. And then there's so many exercises that I still do that's just from physical therapy. And the physical therapy that I did, a lot of it required bands. And so this is a good quality band. I don't have to worry about it snapping on me. So that's really nice. And next up are the wrist straps. They help me lift a little bit heavier than I would otherwise. Um, I got soft weak hands and tiny wrist. So, um, Yenna is actually the one who introduced me to these. I've always seen people use them, but I always kind of like, I don't need that. But then Yenna was talking to me about them. And so we started using them and I will never go back without them. I love having the wrist straps. And the very last thing and probably the most important is having a good playlist. So I will link my little workout playlist down below, but having some good music, it really is just key for me for having an awesome workout. So I hope you guys enjoyed all the random things that help me have a good workout when I don't feel like it. I am going to finish this little bit of pre-workout and probably procrastinate on my phone for like 10 minutes. And then we're gonna get this workout started. So I'll see you when I warm up. So I started out today's workout on the bike like I typically do. And I just did a 30 minute and I did the uphill. So it's constantly going uphill. With this one, I typically do anywhere from eight to 10 miles. So it was, I definitely was on the lower end of that. I just barely hit eight miles. But it was really hard for me to even work out. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of myself for working out. I'm proud of myself for getting her done. And it also got me motivated to do my workout. So I'm very appreciative of that. After I got done um, with my biking, I wrote out a workout. Well, first I was just gonna do the workout for Monday, but I think I've already recorded that one twice. So I've been recording workouts for you guys. I think I've recorded all five of the workouts on the calendar that I have, or maybe I have six. I think I've recorded each of them at least one time, but some of them I've recorded multiple times because I do do more than one workout throughout the day. On most days lately anyway so this weekend was a different story this weekend I had a really good workout Friday Saturday I just biked Sunday I took a day off and then today I fought myself all day to work out but anyway I wrote out a circuit for me to do today and I'm ready to go so yeah let's go <laughs> By the second round I was feeling really good and as you can tell by my little dancing as I was resting I started off with high knees and then I'm gonna move from high knees to a shuffle with a sidekick I I feel like I've done this from somewhere else I didn't make this up but then as I was doing it I felt really silly and I'm like I don't remember maybe I did just make this up I don't know I couldn't tell but 
I felt really silly. And then I did uneven squats, which I liked because it does force my, um, my legs to work. So definitely looks different as always. So everybody keeps commenting that I should get a mirror and I will, but I'm not getting mirrors for this gym. We're going to be moving in a few months. And so I thought about getting the Walmart mirrors, but then I have to put them on the walls. And if I take them off the walls anyway, so moving on next was I did the step up with the kickback. First I did the right side and then the left side or vice versa. Um, but going back to that, when you take the things off the wall, you'll either leave holes we'll have to patch and paint or we'll pull the paint off if we do mounting strips potentially. And I just, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. I struggled so hard putting this band on today. I don't understand why. So after the step ups to kickbacks, I did just the side steps with the band. And then after I did the side steps with the band, I went straight into the abductor exercise. So, and that just works your, works your, you know, hip dip, if you will. <laughs> after the abductor exercise, I do move into the modified burpee. And I ended up just taking a break and kind of stretching my back out here. And then after that, I did something called clock squats. So clock squats are, it's, it's a few movements. So you're going to squat, then you're going to lunge forward, do a side lunge, and then a back reverse lunge. And you're going to do that on the right side and then the left side. So hence, you're kind of going around in a circle with a squat in the middle. So that is where clock squats come from. So I enjoy clock squats quite a bit and we're just going right into my third and final round at extreme speed. So I'm going to quit talking and I'll see you when we recap the workout. a picture of what you what I am looking at right now I have to get a new screw because I don't know when it popped out but I can't find it I cannot find the screw for this I'm gonna just film a little bit so that's what I'm seeing normally I can see myself and then normally I look right there but I can see myself right there but see it's missing a screw it's very exciting I keep thinking that I need to get a second one of these cameras. They're fairly, comparatively speaking, inexpensive. It's not what I want to get. What I want to get is a new camera that's vlogging that'll let me do an external mic. But I'm like, I have a big DSLR that you guys saw me buy in September, October. That you guys saw me buy when I hit 50,000 subscribers, I bought a Canon 80D. And I don't use it that much because it's big. And like here, I can glance up and see if I'm in focus. But with the 80D, I have to glance to the side. So it's a lot more distracting, I feel like, than up. And the one that I want is like a, a glance down. But if it's on a tripod, then you can't glance down. I imagine it's a lot like looking at my crooked um, screen that right now is. Anyway, I like the same. But I would also like to be able to film things a little bit prettier for you guys. But I don't know. Anyway, um, this is definitely a workout that I didn't want to do. And then I just got super into it by the time I was done with the bike and I did eight miles on the bike so I've done 10 miles in 30 minutes a couple times but usually it's about eight sometimes it's like somewhere between eight and nine so it's a slower day today but by the time I got done 
I was like ready to go at it. And so I decided to make my a new circuit. And so I did a new circuit today. I felt really, really good. I'm very excited about it. And all of the little things that I do to get me pumped for a workout got me pumped for a workout. So the only thing I didn't use that I showed you guys was the wrist straps. And I didn't want to do anything weighted because I feel like Yuna and I are working out again tomorrow. And we may go real easy, but like lift with some weight. And so I didn't want to like do that today and turn around and do it tomorrow morning as well. So anyway, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I hope that you guys enjoyed my little tips. Um, comment down below if you have tips for other people. If you, if any of the tips I shared resonated or you found helpful, all of them, whatever. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you hated all of the tips. Um, if you if you hated the tips, make sure you leave some awesome tips to replace them with. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I love you guys so much. I am so excited to share my weigh-in slash one mile update for month six. So I did this a six month timed mile. Had a, a several obstacles. I don't think I talked about all the obstacles in the video. I'll talk about them in another video. But um, there were quite a few. Biggest, of course, being the snow, which you guys will see. Um, anyway, that will be live tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And I am going to do a premiere. So I look forward to seeing you guys then. And I think today would have been very easy for me to not work out. It would have been very easy for me to not record anything. I was definitely in that mindset to not do either. And even though it took me all day and into the evening to get the like wherewithal to go through with it and to start my workout, um, I feel so much better now that I've done it, now that I've gone through the workout. Like I feel like I'm gonna end my night strong. I'm starting my week off strong, even if Monday was a little lagging and um it it definitely didn't end up being an unproductive day and i'm very grateful for that so it's never too late to just do something even if it's small and even if you tell yourself it's going to be small like i kind of told myself i'm like maybe you just bite for 15 minutes it'll be fine but you're gonna do something like you're gonna do something and if i would have just biked for 15 minutes and i still wasn't feeling it and i stopped well at least i did something and that something is better than nothing so anyway last time i'm gonna say it i love you guys so much thank you for being here thank you for your support and encouragement i love you so much and i will see you hopefully tomorrow morning bye